Hello and welcome to Streets of Gotham, an ongoing Blades in the Dark game following a crew of Gotham City rogues. We're playing a simplified version of Blades in the Dark with a special Gotham City playset. I'm your game master and producer, David, he, him. I'm a graphic designer, an illustrator, and a game designer. You can check out my tabletop RPGs at dbb-8.itch.io. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter at dbrunellbrutman. And with that, let me kick it over to my awesome cast of players to introduce themselves. We'll start with Marcy. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Marcy, aka Experimental Madness, which is the username you can find me most places around the internet. Uh, I am a writer and editor when I'm not playing a crazy characters uh, right here on Manipot Studios. Uh, and tonight I'm back playing everyone's favorite hit woman, Jackie Ripley, who is doing fine. She's great. Can't stress that one enough. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. Let's go on over to Maddie. Hello, I am Maddie, um, resident uh, cryptid. No, I think that's somebody else. I think that's Marcy. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm Maddie. Uh, I am an illustrator, a games fan, um, and I guess a Batman amateur. And you can find me on Instagram and other social medias at Cellar Tater. Um, and tonight I'm going to be playing Ed, who is a casual dad, just in for a casual night with his adopted kids. Nothing going on here. Yeah, again, everybody's fine. Uh, let's find out who else is fine. We're going to go down around counterclockwise to Pooja. Oh, that's me. Hello, everybody. I am Pooja. I am back this week playing Manny Quinn, a uh, former circus performer and hench woman to Harley Quinn. And I only say former because she has been promoted to Harley's wife. And uh, she's truly doing fine. It turns out a possible way to get through Arkham with you know, your sanity intact is just to have your emotional support, everything in there with you. Yeah, the only one who is actually doing fine, for real. Uh, and... What are you talking about? I'm doing great. <laughs> yes, and we all believe you. Uh, yeah. Hopper, oh. tell us how great you're doing. Ah. <laughs> yes. Um, no. No, I shan't. Um, this is hell. Uh, what's up, everybody? I'm Hopper. Uh, my pronouns are they, them, as is my characters. Uh, Ollie, our resident getaway driver, which is super helpful when you're stuck in an asylum full of crazy people. Um, uh, Ollie, uh, who also uses they, them pronouns, is attached to Poison Ivy, theoretically. Um, I th what's, the, what's the TV series where uh, Riker just asks you bizarre questions? I've never watched oh, it, but I've seen like 8,000 uh, memes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Beyond Jonathan, Belief, something like yeah, that. Yeah, Beyond Belief with, uh, what, what yeah. was it, Jonathan? I, I thought about doing your yeah, Frakes. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, like just doing, have yeah. you ever been stuck in an asylum? You don't know how you got there. There's a, there's a cute green lady that wants you to kiss her. What do you do? A man with a spork is stalking you through the halls. <laughs> Have you ever found yourself in this situation? <laughs> Tune in tonight with, <laughs> for this bullshit. So you're saying that at some point you will be kissing Ivy? Uh, that was a question for the viewers. Thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The answer to the question is, if a green lady wants to kiss you, you kiss her. Yeah. Well, okay. we just have to in classic... Uh, in classic RPG style, play to find out. Do we not? So let's do just that, though uh, I can't promise any immediate kissing. We are going to jump in with Jackie. We're in a concrete walled interview room lit by harsh fluorescent light with a table bolted to the floor and two metal chairs 
In one chair is seated an older man with glasses and a gray beard in a white coat. In the other, across from him, is Jackie in black and white striped scrubs, handcuffed. Uh, This is a somewhat different setup from Ed's more comfortable office interview. Jackie, you are considered a bit more of a security risk. So Couldn't imagine why. Uh, the doctor uh, consults, uh, oh, flips open his notebook and leans in. So, Miss Ripley, uh, let us start with the basics. Uh, what can you tell me about your family? There's not really much to, to tell there. Uh, it's just me and my sister. It's been that way since, uh, since I was 13. 13, that is a, quite a young age for it to be just the two of you. Yeah, well, welcome to Gotham. Things don't work out really well for a lot of people in the city. Would you care to elaborate? Uh, how did things not work out so well for you? Look, it's a boring story when you get down to it. I'm sure it's a dime a dozen here. Mom died, dad left us. I had to keep my sister clothed and fed and keep the apartment going without having any like social workers sneaking around. You know? did whatever I had to do. That is a lot of responsibility for yeah, a young woman. Yeah, but uh, no one else is going to do it. You seem very resigned to that, Miss Ripley. It was either that or I lose my sister. I kind of like how things worked out, all things considered, because I kept us together. I don't regret that. Nor should you. It sounds like uh, an act of incredible resilience. Uh, many acts over a great deal of time. What are you trying to like be my friend here? I am merely making observations, Miss Ripley. That is my job here. I make observations, I ask questions, and over time, we learn about you. Yeah, I know the drill at this point. So, what I am learning here is that you are someone who relies on herself and not on others. Is that a fair assessment? (sighs) Yeah, kind of the first lesson I learned. So, you have your independence, uh, but That is a double-edged sword, is it not? You don't need to rely on others, but also perhaps you cannot rely on them. I'm not sure what you're getting at here, Doc. Are you playing some sort of mind game with me? Is there an answer that you really want me to say? Because I feel like you're fishing. No, I I think perhaps uh, I think perhaps you do not understand uh, what I am getting at. I'm not looking for specific answers, uh, Miss Ripley. I am again merely trying to figure out what is going on with you. So Like I said, I am getting the sense that uh, you feel like maybe you cannot rely on others. I think perhaps there might have been a time when uh, that would be especially true. Again, 
this is just a guess. I, I am not fishing. I am presenting a, an open-ended idea. But surely you can think of a time like this. Look, my sister was very young when our dad actually walked out on us and Mama died. It's not about relying on anybody. It's about making sure she was okay. That's what I had to do. My parents had debt to the wrong kind of people, and I made it right. I fixed it. That's what I do. Very well. So you are a fixer. <laughs> well, there's better people that are fixers out there. I can definitely hook you up if you're looking for somebody, but... No, no I, I... I just made sure that we were okay. That's what I've done. That's what I've always had to do. Well, even though she doesn't talk to me anymore, but I can't really blame her for that. Now, that is an interesting detail. Uh, what happened between the two of you? I think Jackie just like shows her handcuffed wrists uh, up to the doctor. What do you think happened? You tell me. Listen, the only way that I was going to be able to keep us together at the time was to do things that, well, you might find unsavory. My father owed money to Falcone. I went to one of his bars and I asked him what I could do. And I was 13 and there wasn't much a 13 year old can do, but I guess he liked my attitude. So he made me a runner for him for a while. And that's what I did. And it paid money until I uh, learned some new skills. You know, the variety, the kind that would uh, put me here. Or Blackgate. More often than not, Blackgate. Mm. Uh, you discovered you had a somewhat of a talent for violence, did you not, Miss Ripley? Yeah, you could say that. I don't like it, but it's true when I'm good at it and it paid me more money than I'd ever seen and I was able to you know feed my sister and even put her through college do you not like it <laughs> I mean does anybody really like killing other people I am a doctor in Arkham Asylum, Miss Ripley. I've met quite a number of individuals who very much enjoy killing people. And if that is the case with you, well, uh, this is confidential. I don't like doing it, but I'm good at it. And when somebody especially pisses me off, it's not like I hate it. these episodes of uh, violence when you do have to do this unsavory work uh, do you feel that you're in control what do you mean I get angry sometimes and uh, you know if, uh, if it's especially bad then the other person isn't really around to see what happens afterwards I try that, not to do that. Do you feel that that is separate from your work? No. It's what made me good at my job. So you are able to direct that anger you feel? I'm not crazy, Doctor. I'm just a professional. Well, there are some who would say that uh, that is a profession for people who are crazy. Or for I the would desperate. not say this, obviously. Hmm. All right. 
So you wouldn't say that. But you must admit it is all rather extreme. You live in the same city I do, Doc. It's pretty extreme out there. And sometimes it's either you or the other guy. And I prefer it to be the other guy 100% of the time. Hmm. Yes. So, uh, I'm getting a sense here of... uh, You believe in extremes. You believe in you as the other guy, this or that. This is a very binary way of thinking, Miss Ripley. Listen, if somebody is coming between me and my family or my friends, then if there's no other way, and it's not like I don't want there to be another way, but there's usually not. And I'm not going to wait around for somebody else to hurt them. So, only one option or the other. Act or do nothing, nothing in between. I know what you're getting at. I've been asked this question before. Is that what you believe? Hey, if life could give me another option, I would have taken it. Okay. Uh, Let us move on from this. I I want to talk about uh, your uh, association with uh, Harvey Dent. Yeah, I could tell that's where you were leading towards with that question. Well, uh, why is that? Doc, I've uh, I've had to deal with uh, some prison drinks before. You guys are always asking me the same damn question. This or that. One way or the other way. Do you also have like a problem with indecisiveness? No, I don't. He tells me to shoot somebody, I shoot them. He tells me not to, I don't. Like I said, I'm a professional. I don't have a stake in that. But do you have a stake in Mr. Dent? You already know the answer to that question, so I'm just going to say yes. You have my file. I do have your files. The two of you have a a rather long relationship, uh, according to my file. But the the files, they are just words on a page. I want to hear what you think. It seems to me the two of you are somewhat intertwined in your criminal escapades. Yeah. That's, uh... fairly accurate, I'd say. He's my friend. And he was my friend. Yeah. Long before he got messed up in all this. So, the origin of that friendship... Uh, Tell me about that. My sister owns a bakery in downtown. Uh, It's a pretty good business. I, uh, for my day job, I helped her out. She doesn't, she didn't know about what I did on the side to keep things going. So sometimes I would run the front of the house because we couldn't afford anybody. And... He just walked in one day. <laughs> uh, and uh, put in $20 into the tip jar. <laughs> I chased him down three blocks trying to return it, thinking that he'd made a mistake. And uh, he just uh, he said the stupidest thing. He said, uh, Gothamites got to look out for each other. <laughs> and uh, and uh, then he kept coming by and uh, he came friends with me and Miri. It was just like that. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Why is that? Why would this make him an idiot? He just, um... I don't know. He <laughs> just trusting two people he never met before and 
wanting to get to know us as if he'd always known us. He didn't know anything about what I was really involved in. And uh, I don't know, even, even after he knew, he didn't care. He believed in you. Yeah. What is interesting to me, Miss Ripley, is that you describe this friendship with Mr. Dent that developed uh, in this relationship and his belief in you and, and what that meant to you. And this was all before his, uh, of course, uh, accident. Attack. Yes. And yet, well, there are many, many people who called themselves friends of Harvey Dent who do not anymore. But not you. Why is that? Look, I've been a part of the worst parts of this city since I was a kid. There's not much more I could do that would make things worse for me. And there isn't a whole hell of a lot that I haven't done or seen that would put me away for a long time. I've got nothing to lose. And I figure that if, uh, you know, he's going to hell, well, might as well go along for the ride. Because when he comes out of this, um, I don't, I won't judge. Because he did not judge you. Fucking idiot. Like I said. Perhaps not so much. And Jackie, I think with that, we're back in the present. We are in the dormitory hallway, but you're seeing something different. You're seeing this distorted scene of a courtroom, this impossibly long courtroom with the ceiling stretching to this just sickening height above you. And there's Harvey Dent. And his face is half raw with the acid that you just threw at him. Somehow, for some reason, and you don't see that belief in you, in his eyes. You see anger. You see rage. You see just blind rage as he rushes at you. What do you do? <laughs> Uh, Jackie scrambles backwards, um, com just completely overwhelmed by what is happening. I think she's just a little uh, panicked and confused because there's a part of her that knows she was somewhere else, but now it feels like it was very far away and she isn't sure which was the dream and which is reality at this point. Um, but she's just trying to get away. And this is terrifying. That's terrifying. What about this terrifies you the most? That <laughs> that somehow she caused this and she knows that's not true at all, but there's this guilt that's sitting in the center of her that's always sort of been there that feels exposed. Um and above and beyond all of that, it is the sheer finality of him finally realizing that she's 
this monster that she sees herself as all the time. Manny, you see the real situation. You are in the fourth floor hallway of the asylum's medium security wing, which is currently lit by these red emergency lights. Uh, You've just taken out two guards in the elevator, and there's a third who is rushing Jackie down the hall with a stun baton drawn. Uh, And Jackie is, there's no other word for it, cowering. Uh, Mm. She is backing up and away from this person and trying to uh, scramble away back down the hallway into a corner, Uh, which I think we can safely say is uh, you have never seen Jackie react to an attack like this in the entire time that you have known her. Manny, what do you do? Um, can Manny grab any kind of a weapon off of one of the two guys? Well, Manny would like to throw something at the Russian guard's head from behind. Yeah, absolutely. First, uh, you yeah. can grab so, anything you would like. Uh, maybe they have a baton or something heavy, something, a nice hefty projectile. Sure. And, yeah. uh. Yeah, a baton, wanna, a walkie-talkie, uh, uh, a helmet. Uh, <gasps> oh yes. We described that they do have these helmets with the uh, with riot shields. Yes, let's do that. Okay, great. Um, so you and rip she's off gonna try to chuck it. One of these guards' helmets, and you chuck it down the hall. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. This sounds like a maneuver to me. So let's get an action cool. roll with your maneuver rating. Uh, let's do that. You are at level with the guards. They are level one. You are level one. No dice lost. Um, I don't think this is quite a desperate situation. You definitely have the, you know, the upper hand by a bit here. So your only other options are um, you can push yourself or take a devil's bargain to get some more dice. Or you can just roll. Um... I think, um, well, um, I rolled already, so it's too late for that. But um, I rolled two, which is my my thing, so I'm just taking it flat, which is good because I rolled a, uh, a five and a two, so I did get a five. Okay, five. Mixed success. So um, I think um, hmm, with a mixed success, uh, all right, you are not going to take the guard out with this, but you are going to get them going in the other direction. So you chuck this uh, this helmet down the hallway uh, and instead of, you know, like whacking them in the head and knocking them out, it kind of hits the back of uh, their like stab vest. Right. And uh, the uh, the guard looks to Jackie, who is sort of, you know, backing up in a uh, <laughs> Uh, a somewhat uh, a, a non-threatening position. Again, weird for Jackie. That's strange. If it, if it helps, Manny is also like, "Why are you running away, sweetheart? We weren't done yet." All right, I'll be back for you in a minute. Uh, the guard says to Jackie, and then turns around, uh, and Manny is is whipping around to face your direction, and is pulling from his hip a taser pistol, uh, which Mm. he is about to uh, fire directly at you. What do you do? Uh, Question before I answer. Is this a hallway that is also full of cells? That we're running around or running down a cell? Yeah, so you're running up and down this this straight hallway lined with cell doors. And I believe uh, we had established uh, that one of them is just like busted off its hinges and on the floor uh, where Jackie broke out of her cell earlier. Okay. Uh, Well, then Manny is going to want to try to uh, acrobatics her way out of this attack. That's that's her thing. That's what she do. So are you uh, 
are you moving back down the hallway to avoid this, or are you moving forward? Uh, she's going to be moving forward because she's not going to leave without Jackie, especially Great. because Jackie's being weird. Um, but we're yeah. What she's going to do though is like dodge Manny style, which probably means jumping on something or like doing a flip or something silly. Great. All um, right. We're looking at another maneuver action. Uh, dice are the same. Okay. Um, oh, man. Forgot how much stress we already all have. Because <laughs> if I push myself, I could make myself do a feat of superhuman acrobatics. But I only have two stress I can take before I get traumatized. So I'm going to save it. Uh, which is uh, not great because I rolled a four and a three. Okay, another mixed success. Uh, so I think you sort of start flipping and cartwheeling down the hall towards this guard as he fires the taser, uh, and the taser is going to connect. Uh, the you know the the little thing goes out with the wires, uh, and you feel. Uh, this just uh, may I roll to resist or was that what I did uh, yes you may roll to resist you currently okay. have one box of level one harm coming in your direction so you can roll to resist this okay I'm gonna roll to resist and this and I think you're probably rolling with prowess so roll down your prowess column oh sweet that's my best stance I'm gonna roll on the digitally because my dice suck right now, uh, which is good because I immediately rolled a four, five, and a six. Okay, great. So with a six, you don't have to pay any stress to resist the consequences. So uh, you uh, you feel this uh, this electrified taser end just sort of graze your side as you flip over and out of the way of the guard, uh, and you are now around them with Jackie. Okay. What is Jackie's face doing? Has it has it acknowledged a change in circumstance? <laughs> Jackie. What are you... How yeah. who does Manny appear to be in your fear gas clouded vision? I wonder if you are yourself. Um because I think the real nightmare scenario would be uh, Jackie thinking that Harvey is going after you as if to punish her. No. Yeah, that. Which I, I think is tracks. so. She just looks straight up horrified. <laughs> yeah. So Jackie, from your perspective, um, Manny sort of flips in to to the scene. It's not entirely clear where she's come from but you're almost in dream logic where like oh yeah yeah you, a second you ago you guys were dead there. with like all of the other bodies she was mm. hallucinating and now you're like alive right uh, Jackie, and you sweetie, see we gotta go jackie you go. see harvey draw a pistol like a like a gun not a taser and mm. <laughs> point it at Manny and pull the trigger. And you hear this crack of a gunshot. Manny, from behind you, you hear the uh, sort of like little spring and buzz of this taser pistol pistol firing again. Oh, they recharged does, already? What does either Jesus. of you do? Oh, God. Uh, um, I feel like Jackie's going to scream and try to push you out of the way, Manny. Uh, Manny wants to run. <laughs> Manny wants to movie slide at this guy and take his legs out. <laughs> All right. You know, like you come and sl slide in and kind of like whip his legs out from under him. Like a so, slide tackle? I hate to say this. Uh, Jackie you will be actively impeding this action oh, no. by trying oh, no. to tackle Manny out of the way as Manny is trying to get towards uh, the thing that you're Let's... trying to get her away from. Oh, no. uh, so, 
<laughs> Manny, we're gonna have another maneuver. Uh, it's you, like are you down punch it or I punch it. Wait, what's the difference between maneuver and prowl? I always forget. Uh, maneuver is about moving through space or uh, okay. moving something else like a vehicle through space. Prowl is about being sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, well, okay. Yeah. I, I guess maneuver, it's, so this is not skirmish. I mean, I have the same rating for everything. It's fine. I mean, are you <gasps> are you attacking? Yeah, you could make me an ar- argument for skirmish if you'd like. If you're it's actively their, it's, going to attack same. this person. Okay. It's two pips either way. Um. <laughs> what am I also making a maneuver roll here? Uh, it's four no, and a three. Uh, you negative helped. You've done enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Well, it's okay. Then that that tracks because I rolled a four and a three. Okay. So with a four, uh, again, we are we are talking about a mixed success, uh, and um. Uh, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Uh, the taser is going to whiz past you, Manny, and it's going to hit Jackie uh, yeah, again. Yeah, no. one box. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One box of level one harm. Great. Uh, I've now filled up my level one harm slot, y'all. <laughs> resist Jackie? it. Roll to resist it. I, I am going to. to. Um, also, do I actually take the guy out, though? Because I was attacking question. him. Yeah, good question. Let's resolve that, and then we will resolve Jackie's resistance roll. Uh, okay. Yeah. So the uh, the mixed success is you take him out, but there is harm coming at Jackie. Uh, so Manny, tell me what it looks like as you slide tackle this guy. Uh. So in a very cool shot, Manny just comes sl- skidding. Slips sliding down the hallway and at the very last second kind of hooks her legs around this dude right behind the knees to kind of drop him very fast on his ass. Um, and then now that while they're both on the ground, she is going to uh, furiously kick at his head. Yeah, uh, which you do. And with a couple of uh, no, no, he uh, falls unconscious on the ground. Jackie. From your mm-hmm. perspective, uh, yeah. Harvey has just uh, fired a uh, fired a pistol at Manny. Uh, Manny dodges it and just viciously kicks him unconscious as you feel a bullet slam into your chest. Cool. Can I roll to resist? <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's do. What am I rolling with? <laughs> because but everybody I else, think, I'm just like help. Because I think this is almost more psychologically damaging than anything else. Uh-oh. I'm gonna say resolve. Great. So okay, well I have two in give that. Give me a roll so down your resolve terrible. column. Nice. One and a six, baby. Okay, yeah, with a six. That's called poetry. You um, resist this perfectly, free and clear. So you it's just still like a phantom feel, bullet. It's yeah, part of my so dreams. You, you, know? you feel that you've been shot, and you look down, Ugh. and there's nothing there. There's no, there's no wound. There's no bullet hole. There's no blood. There's no smoke. Nothing. This is just wild. Um, I don't know how much of that even is registering. Um, to Jackie just because everything is like blurring and everything is still so weird. This is still like I feel like there's moments where things are like flashing where it's like it's the courthouse and then it snaps and then she's briefly yeah. seeing Arkham and then it's gone again. Um, she's aware that that gets for one second it's the security guard and then the next it's just Harvey unconscious on the ground and after I just watched Manny brutally kick him in the head um, and um. Yep, there's a moment where she almost tackles you again differently, Manny, but then doesn't because of just this whole thing is so weird. And as you're trying so, to sort this out, Jackie, uh, you hear the PA system come on. Very interesting things happening on this floor. Notably divergent reactions to fear agent. 
I will have to pull all of your files and follow your progress. Who the fuck are you? you? Come here and talk to our faces. What on earth does oh, Jackie I'm register? Sorry, I can see you speaking and you notice a little blinking LED of a security camera uh, as it sort of turns in the corner of the hallway and focuses on you. Uh, but unfortunately, these facilities aren't equipped with microphones. Don't worry, though. I'm watching. Who, who are you? <laughs> Manny should be like, get here and fight me, ya bitch. <laughs> and then she follows up with that, is that clear, for, clear enough for you? <laughs> Hmm. I can't quite tell if you're affected by the fear gas or not. You seem a little too animated, though. Um, I'm gonna break the camera. I can yeah, hear. Can I can hear this, right? Mm -hmm. I can hear it. Yeah. Um, it's freaking me the fuck out. I don't know what this voice is, and I'm just gonna yeet one of the security batons at it in my fear rage. You definitely hear incredibly colorful language from Manny <laughs> as she is animatedly calling this cowardly motherfucker out from behind his camera where he's just too scared to face anyone in person. Jackie, like you a fucking coat. <laughs> you fling, uh, just you, you scramble around and you just grab like the nearest thing at hand. Oh, I've got three security batons on me actually. For oh, okay, I, took I, out I wasn't sure if people. you wanted to give those oh, up. Okay, ooh. great. So, also, I, I can just grab them. You can, yeah, I can now. also help you because I am specifically trained to bypass security measures. So, once I see what you're doing, I will try to help you. Yeah, Jackie, you grab one of these batons and you just fling it full force at the camera uh, and you just hear a crunch and shatter uh, as the as the lens breaks. Uh, and we linger for a moment on that broken security camera and then cut to an unbroken security camera in the low security visitation room watching Ed, Ed, you are in the low security visitation room uh, as everywhere else in the asylum, lit only by these red emergency lights. The two guards in here have taken a big dose of the gas that appears to be seeping in to this room. Uh, you've shrugged off the effects thus far, but it's hit them hard and they seem to think, or one of them thinks, and the other one seems very amenable to the suggestion, that you are the Joker, and you are oh. about to attack them, and their only, uh, their fight or flight instinct has picked fight. <laughs> so oh, you good. have uh, another one of these taser guns coming up at you as this guard Fires. What do you do? Uh, hey, you, you, you want to hear a joke? If you don't put that thing down right now, I'll kill you and your entire family. <laughs> Good lord, Ed. Okay, so uh, you were trying to. I uh, is this sway or command? I'll accept an argument for either. Um. Can it's it a little more way? command. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, okay, so you're either I... trying to command them to put down their weapons or sway them into thinking that you are 100% the Joker. I guess I'm trying to command them because I don't want them to shoot me. Okay, so let's have an action roll with command. This is absolutely a desperate situation. Nice. You, I'm already at disadvantage, I think. Uh, okay, so... so you're starting at disadvantage. Uh, would you like to do anything to gain some dice here? Um, I don't think I, I, I don't think I 
can, right? If I don't have any pips in command and I'm in a desperate situation, like I'd have to do two things to get to, 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 to add dice or no? So we're not really tracking like negatives. So once it falls below, once it falls to zero, it's zero. So if you okay. want to get, yeah. So if you, for example, push yourself to get another die, you would be back up to one. Zero is the lowest. You can't, you can't okay. have like multiple zeros stacked um, on each other. I think I would like to perhaps push myself to do one die. All right. Roll it up and let's see Alrighty. how it goes. Bam. That's a freaking two, everybody. Okay. Uh, Ed, the uh, the taser goes off with a spring click <laughs> and a zap uh, and embeds itself uh, in you. Uh, because, uh, because this was a full failure uh, and not even a mixed success, uh, I am going to throw one box of level two harm. You were just standing there, uh, and you take the brunt of this taser attack as you fall to your knees, Ed. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, but mm. the... That really hurt. <laughs> uh, you can always roll to resist. That um. is always an option. Oh, I don't know. I'm at six out of nine stress. I think I'm just going to take the harm. All right. You take it. Uh, one of the one of the guards says, oh, my God, I got him. I freaking got him. I got the Joker. I, uh, what, what, what do I do now? What do I do now? Uh, and the other guy comes in with the signs. He said, I don't know. You hit him on the head uh, and takes his no. baton and no. is going to bring it down on you. Ed, what do you do? Um, Can I roll out of the way? <laughs> yes, you can certainly make a maneuver roll to roll out of the way here. OK, well, that's why. Why did I even add why I'm I, that, I'm also a disadvantage um, for that. So I don't know why. I guess unless I could use my phone to play a very loud like noise, like a like a <laughs> you know those DJ horns that are like burr, 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 burr. yeah, to sort of right like play it super loud and like startle yeah. them. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's bonkers. Do it. Um, okay. Now we are talking then about a. Um, I think it's more of a tinker than an operate, right? Yeah, I have three and tinker. Yeah, you're tinkering with your phone to Unless, make it make yeah. a loud noise. Uh, yeah, this is this move is wild, though. Desperate situation. Once again, <laughs> okay. you're losing a die for that. <laughs> OK, that makes sense. I I, I accept this. Um, is, No, I oh, is there a devil's bargain? I don't know. Uh, Yeah, sure. Uh, The. Devil's bargain here is so. Ed, what is your uh, once you extract yourselves from these guards? What's your goal? Um, get to uh, Isabel and um, Mila, my my adopted my adopted daughter. Okay, so the devil's bargain here is you can get the extra die now, um, but. When you locate Isabel and Mila, they will be in immediate danger. Awesome. I will take that. Gosh. Okay. Great. You get the die. Roll it up. Okay. Ow. Um, a five. Okay. Mixed success. So um, I... Uh, I think you are able to roll out of the way, but these guys are still absolutely coming at you. So, Ed, you sort of roll on this. Uh, I'm imagining this room as um, uh, kind of like a like a it's got like a carpeted like doctor's waiting room vibe to it uh, a bit. Uh, so you roll out of the way on uh, on this like wall to wall carpeting uh, and, y you know, you get a little bit of like a rug burn on your uh, on your elbow 
that's not harm. Ow. Don't worry. Uh, as this baton slams into the ground uh, next to you, uh, and the uh, the other guy is getting to his feet uh, at, with a a trembling hand uh, and is going to the taser contacts are still in you, Ed, uh, mm-hmm. and is going to pull the trigger again to send another oh, bolt of electricity in your direction. What do you do? Okie dokie. Um, can I try to, um, before he, like, presses the trigger, can I try to pull the, because it's, it's like a thingy, right, that shoots yeah. out from it. Can I try to pull it towards me out of his hand? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You can, like, grab the wires that connect to the, the, the taser pistol and try to pull it out of his hand, for sure. Um, okay. We okay. are, I think we're looking at a, either a maneuver or a skirmish, because uh, this is a bit of a, this is a bit of a fight move. You're you're kind of scrapping with him. Uh, yeah. Well, doesn't matter. I'm equally b- bad at both of those things. Um, okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Barrel. Um, two. <laughs> Gosh, Edward. Uh, okay. Uh, well, it's another level two. It's another box of level two harm. Uh, Ow, that... as, as established. Uh, so, Ed, uh, he he pulls the trigger again, and you feel this electricity coursing through you uh, oh. again, uh, and you fall back onto the floor prone. Oh, I'm missing Jackie right about now. Where are my girls? Where's Manny? Where's Jackie? Ed, you, you are reeling. Uh, these uh, these two guys who, to be clear, are freaked the fuck out. They're shouting uh, and like they're kind of excited, but also incredibly scared. Like, oh my god, I got him down! I got him down! We gotta get the uh, we gotta get the cuffs on him or something. We gotta get him. We gotta get him back to his cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we just get him back to his cell. We'll be okay. He's just the clown. He's just the clown. He's just the clown. Uh, and uh, your your sort of head is lolling around. You see uh, oh. on one side of the room, there is the door that Isabel and Mila came into and left from uh, that they have gone out of. And then on the other side of the room, uh, there is the door back to the sort of security station for this visitation room that then in turn goes back uh, deeper into the asylum. Uh, the guards are, you know, you see one of them take cuffs from his belt, uh, and he is coming towards you, about to cuff you, and they will drag you back through that security door. What do you do? Okay. Um, the door out is, is locked, right? Uh, yes, the door out is currently locked, as far as you are aware. Um, okay. So, let's see if I can... <laughs> but so is the door in! Okay, so... Perfect, great, good. Um, okay, so I leveled up last time, and I took a special ability called Scavenger. You can always find or improvise tools and spare parts from whatever is on hand. Um, and I don't have to spend funds to get them. So, okay. oh, oh. oh, what can I do with just a phone? Um, hmm. The can only I thing this? that I will remind you of is your uh, security back door to hack the door locks in this yes. building. Can I, I guess, is there enough time for me to open the door like out that's gonna depend on the dice oh boy oh boy okay so i'm two down because i have two boxes of severity two harm correct uh you are one no yeah um sorry i don't i don't even have this written down right here is that what it says Wait, I have- um, it says, it oh, should no, no, be, it says for, it should be one for, every, for each full yes, level that's yes, filled yes. unless I'm not remembering the, the no, you are, you are, you are correct. I'm wrong. Okay. So I'm so one, you're down. one down for one level of harm filled. Um, 
And again, this is a wild move to do while a guard is literally trying to, about to try to tackle you to the ground. Uh, so I am going to have to call it a desperate situation, Ed. Yep, that is totally fair. Um, yeah, so can I have another devil spark? In? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, another devil's bargain. Um, fear gas. Uh, you God can have the die, it. but you are going to get hit with the fear gas uh, as soon as you make it out of this situation. Okay, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. It's, it's not great. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's a six. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, six full success. Uh, Ed, you you sort of uh, again you're reeling. You just managed to uh, through the sort of haze of uh, uh, of, uh, of this electricity and the guys coming at you and everything. Grab your phone. You, uh, I think, happen. You just so happen to have the interface up for the doors, so you just managed to hit that. And both of the doors in this room, you hear them click open electronically. Uh, and I'm hopping and popping. <gasps> great. Yeah. The the six carries through. Which door are you headed for, Ed? Um, if I am, if I'm, I mean, I think I might be affected by fear gas now. So if I'm able to decide, I, sorry, Jackie and Manny, I feel like I have to go for my kids. One door goes to your friends. The other goes to your family. Which one will you pick? Hmm. Uh, okay. I'm going to try You've fallen into my devilish trap. All right, uh, David, I'm going to need you to use you. that all the time now, please. That's the worst thing I've ever heard, and I love it so much. And also, I know Done. it will make... You know Marcy's going to have a seizure if you use it too many times, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm running. I, I'm running towards my, 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 my kid. Mila, hold on. That's coming. All right. Ed, you uh, you managed to just scramble. I I don't think you're able to, you're even able to get like fully up, right? Like you're almost on your on your hands and knees, kind of crawl running. Oh, yeah. To yeah. to the door, uh, and you wrench it open and slam it behind you. You hear it click and lock shut. Uh, as uh, as the guards reach the door and like bang into it, uh, and you uh, you hear one of them just like bang 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 on the uh, on the sort of security glass uh, of this door, and you hear some some sort of muffled cursing and like I'm, get your get your key, get your fucking key. He's gonna he's gonna escape the whole fucking asylum. Uh -huh. I'm the Joker. I stole your keys. Ha 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 ha. And. Uh, as you look back, uh, you see just sheer panic in these two guards' eyes. They have fucked up so bad. <laughs> uh, but uh, you are able to book it, uh, sort of crawling to your feet, Ed, down this hallway. Um, and as you are running down the corridor, your vision starts to sort of blur and warp, and you hear that hissing louder. Whoa, this, what are and they those tasers? you feel this bitter, sharp taste in your mouth. And Ed, the corridor starts to twist and turn, and you turn left, and you turn right, and you turn right and left and left and right, and you're running, and you're running at full tilt, Ed. Mm. And this corridor is not 
ending. Oh, what the f- Okay, uh, maybe they gotta have a GPS, right? For, for this, I mean, this place is a freaking maze. Uh, I'm gonna pull up, see if I can pull up a map of Arkham on my phone. All right. Uh, you look at Izzy? your phone. Mila? Hello? Give me a study roll. Okay. As you look I'm down one, at your phone. One down for the harm. Okay. Okay. Oh, so that's just one. Okay. Wow. That's another two. Ed, you look down at your phone and the map of Arkham is nonsense. It's somehow three times as big as the last time you looked at this schematic. No, four times. No, five. It It's expanding outwards like a maze. You can see the edges of it sort of crawling outwards. It, it breaks out of your display. It enlarges, and you are in the maze. But you always were in the maze, weren't you? Oh. And you're sort oh. of falling through it. Oh. Ed, tell us about what it is that you fear. Um, I, in this moment, am afraid that I am going to turn a corner and uh, my ex-wife and kid are gonna be dead or or worse some I'm sure there's some horrible fate you know one of these crazy ass criminals in here uh could inflict upon them um maybe I think yeah that he's just gonna turn the corner and they're just gonna be like dead I think Ed give me a fortune roll this is going to be with your resolve. Okay. Alrighty. We got one in that. So I think I'm at disadvantage. Alrighty. Bam. Oh my God. Do you guys want to guess what it is? Yeah, it's two. <laughs> Throw the dice away. Yeah. Have you considered shifting to an online dice roller? Because that's maybe, what I did, because my dice were being Yeah, I should. They're faces. going to dice jail. I have this big stash, though. I was, about, I was about to say, if you don't have extras, I will literally ride over and give you dice that have been very good at killing players. All right. These I think that's the opposite it. of what we want right now. Yeah. That's no, they've rolled start. really well. Hmm. But only when wielded by a GM. I know, this is an interesting GM philosophical dice conundrum. Is a real thing. It's, dice it's real. know. Dice it's, know who's rolling, whether it's a PC or a GM. It is true. I have. I. I do have them largely quarantined. Um, I, I, I don't really I've get to found play a much. New dice. Um, yeah. What is my? What horrible vision do I witness, David? Paint a picture with your words, please. And you are stumbling through this maze uh, falling through it and you turn a corner and you see far far down the end of this long hallway uh, the door to the main reception area that uh, you can just catch a glimpse of it through the, the window on this door, um, well, we'll say it's a glass door, so you you get a you get a good look that it's into the main reception area, and sl- as you run for it, slumped on the floor in front of the door are two bags. 
large bags? Figures? What? They're shadowy. You can't see them. But one is large or person sized. No, uh, and no, the other no, is smaller. No. And neither of them are moving. No. Uh, I'll, can I turn them over? Can I. I'm running towards them. You run towards them, Ed? But they don't seem to. They don't seem to get any closer. No! Hey! Down there! Hey! Is. Izzy, is that you? Mila? Ollie. Yes. You are in an elevator with two Arkham Asylum security guards, uh, currently dressed in the uniform of a third Arkham Asylum security guard with your face shield of the helmet very conveniently down. Uh, and the three of you are going up from the second floor to Hold on. check floors above. Yes. Give me one second, because I do have something for this. Oh, gosh. Can I be one of the guards? What is oh, about uh, to happen? <laughs> yes, I don't absolutely. have a riot helmet, but I do have a regular helmet. Did you catch the Great. game yesterday? Yeah. I love it. I love it so much. What, the Knights? What? No, the the Jets. The jet Jetpacks. Jetpackers. Look at that. I even got a little, uh, I got a little uh, visor. I, jetpack is oh. a garbage this season. You know what? They're going to turn it around. They're going to turn it around. You, they, think you know they're going to turn it around? Uh, yeah, you know, they, they got uh, the, the they coach got, is an idiot. You seen the calls he's been making? Garbage. Well, uh, you know what? I think they're just hustling, you know, like the it's, you know, the the really focusing on practice and not so much on, on the but, you know, in the later season, they're going to bring it back. And, you know, they got that new trade. They got a, a Bobby. Uh, uh, what's his last name? Bobby, Bobby, Tom, Bobby, Tom. Listen, Cannon. <laughs> when I see results, all right. Uh, when, when I see Bobby Tom putting his hustle out there on the field, then I'll give a crap, okay? Oh, look, well, we're I here. <laughs> Ollie, give me a fortune roll. Ollie's uh, been debating stabbing them just to get this conversation to stop the whole way up. Oh, that's a six on the dice. I, great. I decided to roll on my fucking enormous fuck-off dice. Um... Okay, and then I'm going to so, work my way down to the fuck dice. Ollie, um, you can really choose with a six where this elevator... This this elevator ends up exactly where you want it to be. Where is that? So you are, I, you, you are on the second floor. Jackie and Manny are on the fourth floor. Uh, you are as yet completely unaware of their presence on either you know that Jackie's cell is on the fourth floor you know that Manny's is on the fifth but other than that you are not aware necessarily that they have left their cells well I think this is just wherever the guards were going so I'm going to propose that we roll a dice to determine that or I mean it's a binary choice we could always uh, flip a coin up to you. You got a six. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say flip the coin. That's right. We've got Fuck you. Use it. All right. Use well, the power it's it's so system. clunky that I'm always afraid I'm going to drop it like right into my keyboard. What's what's heads? What's tails? I'm going to say burnt side is uh, is tails. Uh, shiny side is heads. OK, yes, fine. What do those mean? Yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> I know oh. what heads and tails. <laughs> Um, he, uh, heads is uh, what? What um, closer to? Uh, I would say Jackie. Tails is closer to Ed. Okay. Okay. Tails. Tails is closer to Ed. Okay. So you're going down. 
you were not going up this time. Uh, this oh, time. that's why this elevator ride took so long. They were like, one of them accidentally hit like whatever the la- the tallest <laughs> button is, and then they went yeah. up and got to the top and then hit the button for the second okay. floor. So the the elevator door here uh, dings open, and you are now on the first floor, um, and you are uh, you walk out, uh, and you are in a kind of a patient transfer hub uh, here. So there is uh, uh, another one of these like nondescript cinder block corridors uh, lit currently by emergency light, as is the rest of the asylum, um, that goes back into a uh, sort of security processing area where they bring patients through to get them between the medium security dormitories and the uh, the sort of like um, communal areas of the asylum, right? So you step out here, uh, and one of the guards uh, says, "All right, come on, we gotta we gotta get to the security station. Uh, that's the protocol for lockdown." What do you I do, think Ollie? Ollie's gonna just tag along with them and see where they go because a security station could be a control point, and if they can get a control point, yeah, totally. Then something, something, something. They can get all the underwear, and then something, something, something. Profit. <laughs> okay, so uh, you walk through the the corridors here. Um, you. You pass uh, a number of doorways back here. They all seem to be uh, like moderately tough security doors. The main door to the elevator vestibule is like a big fucking like intense security door, uh, which sort of like clamshells close behind you uh, as you exit the vestibule and one of the guards taps his uh, his key card. You see the light go from green to red, locking it uh, behind him. And you stride down the corridors here. Uh, you know, there's various labels up on the doors, uh, those little, like, slates, right, that you have on, on doors. Uh, like, uh, there there's something that seems to be, like, a locker room. Uh, you pass something that is labeled, like, security uh, control. You pass something that is labeled armory. You pass, uh, you know, uh, bathrooms. You pass... There's probably, like, a couple of break rooms back here. And you head all the way down uh, until you get to, um, I think, something labeled... It's probably, like, the... uh, It's probably, like, Patient Transfer Security Office. Um, And there is a uh, there's a door, there's a a security door and there is sort of a window with uh, security glass with like, you know, the wires, the the crisscross wires through it um, and like a speaker in there. Um, And you can see there are a bunch of guards clustered around here. Uh, and they just kind of seem to be milling about. They're they're a little nervous. They're uh, they're a little jumpy. Um, and your group uh, approaches them, and the uh, the lead guy says, "Where is everybody? We're all supposed to meet here in the event of a lockdown. Once we've secured the wards, what? Uh, where the hell is everybody? I don't know." Uh, the, the the alarms went off. There was that weird announcement. Uh, it's it, I, I don't know where anybody is. I don't know what the heck's going on. All right. Well, who does know what's going on? Where's Cash? All right. We need uh, we need somebody in charge. Okay. Uh, or, or what are we just gonna sit here with our dicks in our hands? I don't know, man. Yeah, we're supposed to come here. We came here. That's what we do. Okay. That's the procedure. That's it. All right. 
whatever, man. And he kind of crosses his arms and slumps against the wall. Is there coffee in the break room at least? Can we go, like, get a cup of joe or something? I'm and... sorry, I drank the last of it. <laughs> Can somebody go, like, put on another pot or something? And Why as you they're... everybody around? <laughs> I love how chill these guards are in this emergency situation. Uh, and as yeah, they're well, having anything to not do your own, not to to just not do your job, right? Yeah. Why would also, you do how often here? they must have so many emergency situations at Arkham. Like <laughs> this is just a Tuesday for them. Um, I think uh, so. Ollie is hanging towards the back of this room. Yep. Um, yeah, you're still in the corridor. Here, okay, I'm be, still in the corner clear. listening that, that to this. That seems to be their their meet point. Um, okay, and they they seem to be uh, kind of awaiting further orders. Like they're you know they're shooting the shit, but you can tell that these are nervous people. Like how they're they're shuffling around. They keep checking their weapons. They're kind of like they're a little twitchy, right? Yeah. How hard would it be to sidle back down the corridor to, um, say, security control or the armory? Moderately difficult. There are a lot of people watching you. You might have to come up with an excuse. But if you would like um, to roll uh, to prowl, you can attempt to sneak away or you can make up a distraction. I'd like I got pretty badly jacked up by one inmate's. I can I can take care of the coffee. Oh, look, you're we gonna gotta take go care of the coffee. Her. Go to the infirmary. Oh, I'll be fine. It's just the little throat damage. Okay, go to the first aid station at least. At least that's still in the building. If you don't want to yeah. walk all the way across the grounds to the dang infirmary. Yeah, uh, I'm. A- I might be a little bit more concussed than I thought. Wait, where where is that? What? The first aid station? It's right back there, man. All right. I'll be right back. Don't wait around for me. And Ollie will, like, kind of dramatically limp in that direction. All right. Uh... Ollie, uh, it sounds like you are now trying to sway these guards into believing that you are injured and need to uh, pop off for medical attention or maybe to make coffee. Fuck it in the last dose. Yeah, classic. You know, it's the classic go, go deal with your severely injured throat and also make coffee. All right, so uh, I think it's a sway roll for this. Okay, I'm um, just out of curiosity. What would a devil's bargain look like? Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> devil's bargain. Uh, I have... The immediate possibilities that occur to me, I'm like, I'm not sure that these are bad for you. Um, <laughs> That's, you know, that sometimes we just really have to deal with what comes to us. So let's hear those possibilities. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think. I think the devil's bargain is so you are ultimately trying to get get around to Ed, who, as far as you're aware, is in the low security wing. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think kind of trying to backtrack. Also, alternately, like, doing anything useful in the intervening period. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, what I will say is the devil's bargain is going to be you are not going to be able to immediately find your way to Ed because you as far as you're aware, think that Ed would still be in his cell in the low security dormitories. So that is where you will ultimately end up if you take this bargain, rather than with Ed, at least directly. 
So the math here is rough because I have three stress remaining before I get traumatized. I have a uh, disadvantage on sway rolls. Ollie should never talk to anyone. And uh, if I push myself, the next thing that happens to me will take me out. I think I'm going to take that bargain. Sorry, Ed. All right. Roll them up. Because otherwise I don't think I'll get to you at all. Whoops. You know I love a good devil's bargain. I'll immediately throw my dice on the ground. That's Luckily, the sandwich they have at Ted's. Apple smart. Can we can we please put that in the uh, series Bible? Yep. The Already bargain. done, baby. Write it down. It's what being is- written. Chat. What's Make in the sure you get the jetpackers too. The you know Gotham's or or Not. forward small team. Okay, so that was a very good life choice. Um, that 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 did make a significant difference. Um, so that'll be a five. Okay, so five mixed success. Uh, All right, one of the guards uh, is like, uh, hey, pal, you look pretty jacked up. Let me go with you, okay? Uh, and sort of puts an arm around you uh, and is is walking down the hall with you towards the infirmary. So you will be out of sight of all of these other guards, but you are with this one single guard who is kind of helping you uh, around yeah, the corner towards I the think infirmary. Ollie um, or not the infirmary I'm sorry the first aid station yeah Ollie throws their arm over the shoulder of uh, of this ever so helpful guard um, yeah uh, as we, uh, as and we they, stagger out of sight yeah and you, you stagger around the corner they, they say to you this is weird this is this I'm I'm freaked out. I'm trying not to show it, but I'm freaked out. Okay, I, I don't know what the heck is going on. Do you? Like, who was no. that on the PA? I'm new. I don't know anybody. I I only been here like a couple of months too. New guys, right? Yeah. Dude, what? It, <coughs> you, What's the uh? Is it like this all the time? I've only, I've barely been here longer than you, man. I sure hope it isn't. I took the job in the medium security wing so I wouldn't have to deal with the really crazy stuff, you know? You ever been in the in the in the high security building? <sighs> uh nah, they only put the real hard cases. Not and I'm not talking about the patients in there. Yeah, I know. I talked to some of those guys. I I don't know. They, Ollie is mentally gauging how far we shit. are and if we're out of sight. Yeah. Um, I was in the medium security wing my whole time, too. There's, I don't know. There's some crazy motherfuckers up in here. Is that, That's the door, right? Uh, yeah, there's the first aid station. Come on. Uh, and right. they open the door. Uh, they, you know, they, they swipe their key card open the door uh, and sort of usher you uh, into a very small room uh, that uh, just has like a uh, like a um, a table, like a, a medical table and just a couple of cabinets. Uh, yeah, very, very sparse. MT, I, I don't think it room? even has a table. It probably is a, like a chair. OK, uh, no camera. Give me a fortune roll. There is a camera in the corner of the room. You can see the little blinking red light. And with a two, uh, you just get the sense that there is somebody on the other end. They're all, all the guards that are immediately adjacent to me are in a hallway. They're not looking at screens. You don't know. I but think um, you did see Ollie's, a big group of guards who were clearly not looking at screens. So yeah, Ollie is like kind of staggering in, arm around this guy, and looking up at the camera through the visor, 
Um, and I would like to, um, this guy didn't do a, I don't know if he did anything deliberately fucked up. So I'd like to just, uh, kind of go from resting my hand on his shoulder as support to grabbing the back of his neck and jamming the taser up underneath his, uh, chin and pulling the taser. Yeah. Give me a skirmish roll. We're engaging in All some right. light violence. Just a little bit of light violence. Um, okay, that's a little uh, night. Oh God, that that reboot took <laughs> that reboot took some wind out of my sails. But that'll fucking do it. That's a six. Okay, yeah, a six will absolutely do it. Uh, so, uh, what does it look like as you take this other guard out? I yeah, I think it's just a quick scruff and. Um, jams up and then this crackle of electricity, um, which is one of the reasons why Ollie is holding the back of their, his heavy armored jacket is hoping that it's not going to transfer as much electricity as it otherwise might. Yep, um, totally. And, um, and then and they uh, slump to the ground like a bag of bricks. Yeah, Ollie's really quickly going to um, going to grab uh, grab. Sw- uh, gr- are these like single use tasers or multiple use tasers? We've established they have at least two uses. Uh, are we All talking right. about? Okay, so to be clear, there's a few different things, and I haven't been super clear about what they are. So they have a taser pistol. Uh, mm-hmm. which can shoot at range. That we know has at least two uses. Uh, oh, okay. It's not a direct contact And one. we also have a uh, stun baton, which has a sort of, you know, a cattle prod. It's got like an electric, uh, an electric boy so, at the end. So I think that, yeah, so may I, let's, uh, let me retcon that really fast in grand comics tradition. Um, yeah, and Ollie um, basically just, uh, uh, chokes this guy out with a electric baton. Okay, great. So yeah, you put it around, uh, around the throat, and yep. ugh, slumps like a bag of bricks onto the yep. tile floor. And then uh, I will take his accoutrement, especially the key card, um, and um, any sort of communication device, and then tie him up, hog tie. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, great loot any easy look any first aid supplies that look like they'd be helpful and then um i think uh, i think we get a brief shot of ollie taking off the uh taking off the, the glove and you can see that they they uh really cut up their hand punching through the glass um and is part of their escape and uh kind of bandaging that yeah, and you're like you're like walking out of the, the the infirmary like wrapping your right mm-hmm. like wrapping your hand uh, do mark off as y'all pick up things do mark it off on your gear and do keep in mind that you only have five slots to carry things oh yeah I think this is more about depriving him of this um, I, if uh, this is more about not allowing him to have anything so I think Ollie's just gonna ditch um, ditch the any sort of weapon elsewhere uh, the key card yeah, I totally. will mark I mean you already have I've... a key card from the guard whose uniform you're wearing. Yeah. So you're covered well, there. In case I want to pass it off to somebody else down the line. Totally. Okay. So yeah. do mark that in your gear, but if you pass it off to somebody else, you don't yeah, have that, to. I, I will be keep at max with up that. A slot. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. All right. So you're around the corner. Your buddy is uh, having a little nap. Mm-hmm. What's your next move, Ollie? Control room. If, yeah, I don't. Th- I don't think I can carry it. I can't be a walking armory. I'm not Jackie. Um, you're always welcome to try. Okay, so you are headed back to the room labeled security control. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Um, this is going to be. Interesting. Give me a fortune roll. Um, and this is almost for the guards who are level one, so we'll use their level. So you're just going to roll one. 
That's a fuck for me, dog. Okay, so uh, things have gone very bad for the guards here. Um, Oh, for the guards. I thought you meant how many guards were going to be just in there. No, I mean, yes. Oh, I love this. I feel so much better right now. I thought I was going (laughs) to die. So, Ollie, you uh, you open the door to security control. And this is another small room uh, with the walls just covered in monitors, Uh, you know. From, from a desk all the way up to the ceiling, wrapping around uh, several dozen monitors and a chair in the middle. Uh, the lights are out completely in this room. Um, and the only thing that is lighting the room is just static on all of these monitors. Damn it. There is nothing to be seen here uh, and it seems that the guards have abandoned this station uh, as whatever security control uh, exists for this area has been remotely overridden that's a problem all right um heading for minimum security then heading to its last probable location okay great so you uh, you see the static on all the screens. You carefully close the door and you scoot through uh, back through the patient transfer area, um, and you get to the security doors that lead you through to the patient common areas. This is where the dining hall is, the gymnasium. There's probably you know. Um, some like auditoriums Uh, this is probably where you go out to like the fenced in outer exercise area that kind of thing Uh, and you are moving through this area towards the low security area unlike the high security area the low security area does not have an elaborate uh, guard post uh, be- in between it and the um, uh, and the and the dormitories. So uh, you are able to get over there, uh, and we know the the guards have all uh, congregated, or so we think, uh, in that other security station. So you are able to move through the common area. Pretty stealthily, uh, though you do notice the blinking red lights of security cameras at periodic intervals. They are all on, and you know, maybe did you see that one move? No, mm. probably not, right? Your imagination. That's not following you. Don't be silly. And you get to the doors to the low security dormitories. Uh, Similar in setup to the high security areas, there is a uh, there's a vestibule and there is a a small elevator bank that goes up the couple of floors uh, that make up the low security wing of the Arkham Asylum main building. Where are you headed? Ooh. You know, Ed, I think, is on, let's say, the second floor. And I'm yeah. definitely there right now. Yeah, that's kind of got to that's got to be player knowledge versus character knowledge. That's where I got to go. Second floor. OK, uh, so you scan your card. Uh, you hear the of an elevator being summoned and you hear the mechanicals of the elevator start to whir. Ollie, make me a fortune roll with your insight. So down your insight column. Well, that's just one. All right. Four. 
four. All right, mixed success. Uh, the elevator clunks into place and there is a buzz and the doors open. Uh, and then you hear scuffling behind you, Ollie, and you turn around to see further back out of the vestibule in the large arched hallway of the common area that you came from, uh, a few figures step out into the space. They are kind of roving around. They uh, have some sort of weapons. Uh, they appear to be holding with two hands and they have flashlights on the ends of them. Then they're sweeping the beams around. Um, can't quite tell in the dim red security light anything else about them. But you hear one of them say, Come on out. We know you're in here. Come on. So is the elevator and open? Oh, the elevator is currently open, but we're cutting back to Manny and Jackie. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Manny, Jackie. Totally normal. Uh, Jackie from... Well, no, let's start with Manny. Manny, from your perspective... It's the same person, um, please. Yeah. Manny, from your perspective, uh, you have just taken out this last guard, uh, eliminating the immediate threat in this hallway, and rushed back to Jackie, who appears to be in a state of uh, panic, distress. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Uh, Jackie, from your perspective, um, uh, your friend Manny has just kicked the living shit out of your friend Harvey Dent who also shot you. Mm -hmm. What does either of you do? Well, let's, just as a reminder, when we had talked about pulling off this plan, well, granted all of this happened earlier than it should have because, you know, we were going to wait till Ed had seen him his family uh what was it i cannot remember for the life of me was the plan to go up i think we had talked yes. about getting access to the roof i believe okay. nanny you were supposed to go to the roof but not all of us were going up there yeah no. it's um, not one okay. connected building it's an island yeah yeah um manny and ollie were going up <clears throat> okay uh, Manny is going to hope to God that Ollie thinks to meet him up there oh, and is going to grab Jackie or an attempt to go to the staircase at the end of the hall, not, not the elevator shaft, but the other staircase and right. try to take it up. Okay. I don't understand what's where are we what's going on Jackie we're in Arkham we have to go to the roof no 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 none of this none of this makes any sense how, how did how did you get here how, how how why am I here did did you inhale some of that weird stuff I, I think it's messing with your brain honey we gotta go 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 where away let's go we're gonna go we're gonna go go home we're gonna find uh, we're just out of this place out of away from the gas i don't know what is going on with you but you're not yourself i, I need you to be yourself i i don't is i don't know if that's really you i i keep seeing things 
just uh, here hold my hand and don't believe what you see just what you feel okay I, I, I got you and um Maddie's gonna take Jackie's hand and attempt to try to lead lead her up the stairway also flip off every camera you see because that fucker's watching us I think I can do that all right um Jackie is in between like closing her eyes and like trying to keep them open to keep track of where we're going but at this moment she's fully no longer convinced that whatever's happening to her does not feel real anymore nothing feels real right right now and yeah. her chest hurts for weird reasons and she, I the... think she still feels like the bullet that didn't actually hit her oh no yeah. is, what are feelings feelings uh, and her in thought. this state uh Manny you kind of half guide half drag uh Jackie up this stairwell to uh the top uh you reach a uh, at the very top of the stairwell um a trap door uh, a mm. very securely locked steel trap door well I picked one lock tonight and I have that hairpin with me still <laughs> uh huh um I still have a key card oh Jackie does have Do the you- key card but do I know that? I don't. Did I? I don't think I saw you take that. No, I took it before I got fear gassed. Um, all right. Well, Mandy's gonna get down and like try to fiddle with the hairpin. Um, all right, Jackie. I don't know if Ed's had time to hack into things yet, but we gotta we gotta get out of line of sight of these that fucking creeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Yeah, I think she's like mum- muttering to herself and she's like digging in her pockets. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can still fix this. We can, we can still fix this. Um, yeah, would this help? Go. And she pulls oh. out the card. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> can I do that roll? Yeah, and, and Manny, you're like, you're like very carefully like trying to pick the, you, you have like the, um, you've taken off like the electronic yeah, that's security like a panel. lock, right? Like there's a <laughs> panel out and there's wires dangling down and you're very carefully trying to like maneuver the manual lock. And then Jackie just like holds mm-hmm. up this key card into your side vision. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, that works. Um, all right. Uh, puts the pin very carefully back into her hair and uses the key card. And you tap it against the um, certainly worse for Manny wear <laughs> uh, electronic lock uh, and the trapdoor uh, buzzes and shunk, uh, opens, splits in the middle to open out to the cold autumn air. You climb the remaining flights of stairs and you are on the roof of the main building of Arkham Asylum. Uh, Jackie's wigging out. Just everything is a mess. The wind is whipping a bit up here and there's still some rain uh, as the sun starts to set over the skyscrapers, lighting them up orange from behind uh, out across Gotham Bay. And you can look down uh, and see... This beautiful drone shot of us emerging on the roof. (laughs) Yep. Uh, And we see the two of you climb out into uh, into this rainstorm. Um as the uh, as the sun obscured by storm clouds, these orange storm clouds sets and we get a view over Arkham Island. We can see the main building that you are in. Uh, 
and then immediately adjacent to that, a kind of circular drive uh, and kind of front lawn area that leads off to a gate. uh, And in the distance, we can see a long causeway that goes across the bay from the island to the mainland north of Gotham City. Um, We get a view of some of the other buildings on this hilly island. There is, of course, this big gothic hulk of a main building, um, but uh, connected to it uh, very nearby by a um, a causeway that's completely surrounded by barbed wire. Uh, we see this big sort of octagonal hulk of a bunker of a building, this concrete mass of the um, the high security containment building. Uh, there is uh, sort of arcing away from that uh, a, uh, a building that is the, uh, the island's infirmary um, and then a uh, sort of wooden gothic structure like a um, a uh, Victoria, large Victorian mansion uh, Mm. where, you know, the administrative offices and stuff are. Uh, Very, very occasionally, some of you have uh, been over there if you get a nicer uh, psychological interview. Um, Um, There's some other things as well, which you can ask about. Sure. The first question I have is just figuring that most cameras are usually facing down and out how many cameras are actually focused on the roof because manny is going to want to go and systematically um break every single camera so that they can at least like find a place to hole up so that if anybody else emerges on here they won't know immediately where jackie and manny are hiding yeah totally yeah step one is bust the cameras uh yeah uh give me a fortune roll with your study rating my study rating, which is zero. All right, you are at disadvantage. Oh, who, who put who put the shimbos on a roof together? Uh-oh. Fuck! Oh no. Well, that's uh, six for the first one. Whoa! Oh, and a four for the second. Okay, mixed success. So, um, I think there is a um, there there are a couple of cameras on the roof here. Um, you are sort of on this, uh, you're at the top of a gabled roof, right? So there is a sort of small, narrow strip of a flat area, which has kind of a spiked wrought iron fence running around it, uh, and then sloping off from all four directions of that narrow little rectangular strip is, are like the tiles of the old roof. Uh, the, mm. outer, the outer roof of the old as- asylum building. And you can see there are two cameras uh, sort of on those like reverse U-shaped stalks um, that are uh, somewhat significantly above person height. Uh, but there is one immediately where you are uh, at the trapdoor, and then there is another down at the other end of the roof, which, you know, you could guess pretty regularly corresponds to the other end of the hallway inside in mm-hmm. this sort of long wing of this building. What do you want to do? Goodness. I mean, we can keep throwing stuff at them, but we probably want to hold on to those stun batons. Oh, I wasn't going to throw them. I was just going to try to Shimmy. Get Jackie to give her a boost. Oh, yeah. That 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 can be done. <laughs> yeah. I think the, the rain might be helping a little bit with some minor clarity. Yeah. I was just, well, that she, was the she's, other hope. She's that fresh convinced air you're a little bit realer than whatever she's seeing right now. But at least you're not inhaling more of the stuff. Fair. So yeah, that hoping that will helps. work. I think she isn't sure which building she's on top of now, though. <laughs> I don't. I think it's vacillating between Arkham, a hospital, and the 
top of the courthouse, which is making her be like, those brief <laughs> moments of confusion is just like, what the hell is happening? What did we um? What did we say about this plan when we made it? I think we said it was foolproof, right? Foolproof. I think we said we foolproof. we said we don't have we have a hope and a prayer and a fucking cell phone. <laughs> yep, and, and we were somehow note. going to somebody's break. Coming. We were going to somehow break out of prison, get Harley out yep. of Max security oh, with a we cell have to go to phone Max. and nothing else. Well, now we have fear gas on our side. Yeah, uh, so it's a, that's it's what a I feature. said. <laughs> now that's what I call feature, fear gas. Not a bug. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So in terms of larger game plan, I don't know how much of this want to play out now. We, we go to break or whatever. I think it's cameras first. Just get the cameras. Cameras first, okay. and then then start to attempt to scope for things that can get them off the roof. Yeah. Great. So let's address the cameras. Uh, Manny, it sounds so. What uh, e- you're either doing a tinker roll here to tinker with the cameras, or you are doing a maneuver roll to maneuver up the poles. Um, I would like maneuver would be better, but I would like to. What I would like to use is my. I don't know if I need it, but my special ability, the master thief thing, which is bypassing security measures like cameras, yes. I ignore penalty for traps that exceed my level. Great. Um, uh, so. Okay, so these, yeah, uh, yeah, so these security cameras are at one. Uh, okay. So you are, you are at, you're flat at level with them already. Okay. All right. Um, I think it's just gonna be, yeah. Manu- like a mix of like maneuvering trying to and it, it, it's not even necessarily um, well would it be prowl if I tried to disable them instead like couldn't you just pull some of the wires that are that's what I was thinking up the pole? it would be prowl if you wanted to do it very specifically without anybody being aware that you had tampered with the camera well, I my goal for the cameras is to sneak away from the creeper watching us. That is yeah. the ultimate goal because I we know he's watching us and he seemed to be gleeful about what was happening to Jackie. Yeah, so. don't like it. Fuck you, creepy guy. So, um, yes, Manny would like to sneak around and get the eyes off of them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll buy that. Okay. Uh, a six, a five, and a four. All right, six does it. So I think uh, what we see is we um, we kind of you know pull out uh, from the roof uh, on this this you know wide uh, this wide drone view, right? Uh, and we see uh, Manny kind of uh, sneakily shimmying up. Uh, the the cameras with a a boost from Jackie uh, and uh, and disabling <laughs> squat them. and hold <laughs> uh, and then kind I of mean, scooting back down. You can probably throw her. She's light and small and uh, has done like clown a uh, cheery circus. If you things. ask her to do that, Jackie, oh, yeah, would. Yeah. she would. She would absolutely she, ask her. But she's five two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're much shorter than than Jackie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, we see you shimmy down the second camera uh, as a crack of lightning and a peal of thunder uh, sounds over the asylum. Uh, and we will momentarily leave the two of you on the roof in the rain. Ollie, the... Figures behind you are sweeping these uh, weapons with their beams of light around the wide hallway of the common area uh, and calling out. What do you do? Ollie is going to duck into the elevator, um, I think, and or press themselves into whatever corner is least visible from these people. Mm -hmm. Uh, And are you then taking the elevator up? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. So we'll we'll walk with all that at once. Uh, Give me a prowl. Never 
Never mind. Hmm. I'm so tight on stress. I just can't. I'm just uh, rocking with what I got. You know, unless you want to pitch me. <laughs> bargain with the devil. A devil's bargain for this? Oh, gosh. Um, okay. I just devil's like making bargain. you come up with stuff. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, uh, I'll, I'll give you a nasty one. Uh Whoever, whoever these guys are, they, uh, if uh, this is successful, they won't find you, but they will find your teammates. Oh. That's a bargain. It'll be a four, thank you very much. All right, mixed success. Um, so I think you are able to get away from them for the time being, but they're still on your tail. So, uh, you hear, uh, as the elevator dings and the doors close, you see the, uh, the beam of one of these lights sort of whip over to the closing doors, uh, and you hear a, uh, who's over there? as the doors close and you shrunk up to the second floor. The doors open onto the second floor. Uh, this is a much nicer area than where they were keeping you, Ollie. Um, the aesthetic is slightly more uh, uh, gothic wood paneled than industrial uh, prison here. Uh, the doors are clearly heavy uh, and you do see that they all have electronic locks on them, but uh, this is a, uh, uh, a somewhat more humane wing of the asylum. Uh, and you make your way down to uh, to through the cells. Uh, do, do you know specifically? You probably know specifically which cell. Ed I is would. In, I would definitely right? know which cell Ed is. Usually, where yeah. where Ed stays. Right. I, I, so, I not, might not know how to get direct directly there perfectly, but Ollie would definitely remember that. Right. So you head you head down the down the rooms. Uh, you get to Ed's and you look through the uh, you look through the window. And even in the dim secure or the dim emergency lighting here, this room is empty. Ed's not here. What do you do? I think Ollie just uh, bonks their head against the door a little bit, uh, the visor, um, and just kind of uh, does a... God damn it. Ollie. And down the corridor, through the vestibule, the elevator dings. And oh, the doors are about to slide open. Running, 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 running to break line of sight. Uh, all right. Your options are, uh, this is, uh, though it is a different area, uh, and though it is much nicer, uh, your options are the same as in the other wing, just in the opposite direction. So you've got elevator on one side, down a straight hall, stairwell on the other. So you're headed for the stairs? Heading for the stairs for sure. Okay, great. Uh, so you you reach the stairs, you swipe your swiped card, uh, and you are through the door, up or down. Well, if Ed's not here, Ed was the lowest, correct? Uh, you and Ed were on the same floor, uh, but in completely different wings. In different. So you were both on the That's second right. floor. That's yeah. right. So if. He's not here, then up. Up to the roof. All right. Down. I know what's down and I don't like it. All right. Uh, so, Ollie, you uh, you head for the roof. 
uh, you run up uh, uh, a number of flights and you um, arrive at uh, the same manner of security trapdoor uh, that uh, Manny and Jackie saw on the other wing. Um, swipe your card on that. No problem. Uh, and you emerge out into the rain and thunder and you look across and you see in the distance far on the other side of the building a couple of figures on the roof of the opposite wing. Tell me, what do my Ollie eyes see? Um, can I make out who it is or is it just silhouettes? They're very distant. It's raining. Uh, we're getting on towards dusk. Do, you, do, you, you do, do they get to see today. one like bound up into the air and then jump back down and do ridiculous shit? Yeah, you, actually, I think you very specifically see one of them like swing off and down yeah. from one of the uh, one of the cameras up on the up on the pole. Do it's totally here. unnecessary, like. Uh, a, like Olympic style, like you know, uh, parallel bars, like flip and land. Just no need. I think with that, can I intuit that perhaps that might be if it's not Manny, it maybe it's Harley. Well, because we'd also talked about going to the roof at the beginning. We, did. we, yeah. we had talked. We were we were supposed to go up. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think uh, Ollie's just going to um, keep the visor down because it's far enough away, it doesn't matter. And um, just uh, kind of give, just. Do we see uh, it? One of those figures you see in the distance definitely crouches down into like a panicked fighting stance. And maybe you see a crack of electricity as uh, a stun baton gets ignited. Are you gonna do a little dance? To tell me it's yeah, you. I think. Um, I think. Uh, oh, talk to no. me in semaphore. Do Let's I go. Have, <laughs> do I, can we say that I have a completely unnecessary flashlight, even though I don't have it in my gear, David? Oh, oh, answer. Oh, it's for if you, <laughs> if you pay one stress and tell me how oh, you got absolutely it. Absolutely, the fuck not. Yeah, no, oh, I, don't have, I don't have the slots for that. None of us have the stress. <laughs> We are 10 seconds away from trauma. Come on, come on, come on. You're, 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 you're a little more trauma. Yeah, I think I'll, Still yeah, Ollie character. starts doing the, doing the, um, like, buzz, <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, and, and we see, we see the two of you doing the, uh, the YMCA at each other across the roofs of Arkham Asylum. Jackie's just staring at both the figure across the way and at Manny just, in utter confusion as she's still tripping. Oh my god. Let's Listen, see it's not a it's not a streets of Gotham stream unless we show our whole asses at some point. <laughs> Ed is curled up in a ball, like in the bowels of Arkham. See well, in in sound interesting of interesting that you should oh, say no, that. Ed. I, I don't think you're quite there. Yes. Hello, you. darkness. Ed. We are back down on the first floor, uh, you have been running through these corridors and running down this long final stretch to uh, the main reception area where you know Isabel and Mila were headed. And there are these extremely disturbing human shaped lumps uh, slumped oh. over in front of the door that you are running towards and they don't seem to be getting any closer and they don't seem to be getting any closer and they don't seem to be getting any closer and then you sort of run through the haze of this thing and the blurriness in your vision clears and you approach the door at the end of the hallway and there is nothing here. It's just a door to the main reception area. 
and it's just a hallway, and you're the only one in it. Uh, can I tur- turn back around? What do I see? You turn back around, and you see the corridor where you came from. Uh, it goes for a little ways. Uh, there's uh, uh, there's some doors. Seems to be um, some... Um, like security administrative sorts of things. Uh, nothing nothing really of any note. It bends around a corner and, you know, that's the corner that you came around uh, out of the visitation room. It was a pretty short run. That's weird. Um, I don't like this. Uh, can I peek through the glass door? I mean, the door is glass. Can I peek through it? Yeah, totally, totally. We established this was a glass door and you could see the reception area. Uh, You you peek out through it uh, and you are sort of looking around the main reception desk uh, and out towards, um, there's a security checkpoint, like a bunch of, um, you know, metal detectors uh, and stuff set up for uh, visitors who come in through the main double doors. Uh, and you can see uh, this door that you are looking out of is kind of sandwiched between the reception desk on one side and like a staircase on the other. Uh, there's kind of a big staircase uh, on the on the other side of it. And uh, now remind me, you did take the devil's bargain where I when you found did. Isabel and Mila, they would be in immediate yes, danger. I did. Great, great. Because what you see is the two of them. Uh, in the reception area of uh, of Arkham, um, they are kind of sitting on a uh, on a couch against one of the walls, uh, and there is uh, Isabel, uh, sort of looking around with a combination of like nervousness and just uh, she's she's nervous, but she's also just pissed. Uh, and she has her arm around uh, Mila in her little cat costume, clutching her uh. little, uh, unfortunately, uh, as yet empty Halloween jack-o'-lantern bucket. And there are a couple of guards uh, around here, a couple of other um, just ordinary folks, regular civilians, uh, and there uh, appears to be a uh, a receptionist or two, a couple of orderlies, uh, a couple of people uh, kind of uh, uh, together in this room. And as you look through the glass door, the double wooden doors, the main entrance to the asylum Uh, beyond that security checkpoint open and a group of uh, interesting folks walks in. Uh Uh, They are uh, a bunch of heavily armed people. Uh, They have like submachine guns uh, and they have these sort of burlap hoods uh, up uh, over their heads. And you can see their faces, well, you can see under the hoods. Uh, their faces themselves are covered with gas masks. Uh, and you can see there are behind the ones who are armed with the submachine guns, there's one figure who has a tank kind of strapped to their back with a hose and a nozzle uh, that they are carrying like a, um, you know, one of those pesticide sprayers, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh... And you see them uh, enter the room and the uh, the guys with the machine guns point them at the guards who kind of, you know, put their hands up Stand oh, back. Fucking useless. Useless piece of shit. Uh, and you hear one of them say, uh, All right. Everybody, stay cool, okay? You folks are lucky. You're the control group. 
the rest of this facility, the boss is doing all kinds of stuff. Here, you're fine. As long as nobody gets any smart ideas and starts acting up. Understood? Because we got these babies. And he pats the machine gun. And our friend back here, well, our boss isn't so dedicated to the purity of the experiment that he won't make you not the control group if he needs oh to. That's, that's not how science works, god damn it. And Ed, you, uh, as you're watching this, uh, you hear the electronic lock on the door that you are looking through click open. What? And you get a little ba-ding on your cell phone. I, I, I take it out and I look at it. You have a message. The message is a smiling cat emoji. Ah! And that is where we're going to leave it for tonight. No! Woo! The cavalry is here! Oh, oh. The cavalry being just Selena Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> While we're like freaking lettering <laughs> to each other on roofs. Oh, well, Ed. thank you Oops. everyone for joining us on Manapot Studios this evening for Streets of Gotham. Rate. Streets oh, of Gotham. Man runs on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. We have a new episode every other Monday, and in between, we are running reruns with a live chat. Uh, so join us for the next live one uh, in one week, or did we change the schedule? We did. Okay. Uh, we're going to be... We're going to be uh, taking a brief little extended uh, uh, break... Uh, and we'll be back on the 8th of August, but then we'll be doing a special back to back. So there will be a live, a new live episode on the 8th and a new live episode on the 15th. And then we'll be going back to our every other Monday schedule. Yay! Someday Yay. when we have a schedule change, I will write it down in my notes so that I can read it aloud. I got you. Thank you. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you can go over to youtube.com slash Manapot Studios to watch some of our past games. Uh, we have started posting this series, uh, and we're going to try to get that up uh, every Friday after the rerun. So uh, two weeks after it airs, that Friday it should be up on YouTube. If all goes according to plan, we'll try our best. Um, but you'll be able to keep up if you didn't catch the first two episodes. First one is up right now. The next one is going to drop this Friday. So check those out on YouTube or at least pop over there and give us a like. That helps. Uh, yeah! And we also have the original Escape from Arkham series, uh, the full thing, except for that one episode that got lost, uh, for you to watch there and catch up on the earlier adventures of this crew. Once again, I have been David. Uh, if you want to check out my tabletop RPGs, you can go over to dbb-8.itch.io. That includes In the Dark, the simplified multi-setting version of Blades in the Dark that we've been playing tonight. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, at dbrunellbrutman. And with that, I will throw it to the cast for their final plugs, shoutouts, etc. Let's start with Maddie. Uh, I am... Back to being Maddie. I'm not Ed anymore. Um, though Ed and Maddie are wondering if I should try to get Selena Kyle's autograph for Mila, who is dressed as a cat for Halloween. Huh. So that's very interesting. <laughs> that's so cute. Interesting. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm Maddie, and um, I'm pretty sure this wasn't a hallucination. So go ahead and check me out on Instagram and other social medias um, at Cellar Tater, which is like Cellar and then Tater Tot together. Um, yeah. And I don't have any shout outs except for my mom, who is not watching because it's her birthday. Happy birthday. Mom. Yay. Happy birthday. Yay. Daddy mom. Happy birthday. All right. Awesome. Mom birthday. Mama Tater. All around. 
I like Mama Tater. Mama, Mama Tater's got legs. All right. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mama Tater. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's go on. on over to Pooja. Hello, everyone. I am Pooja. You can find me on Twitter at Pooja and at Pajabawaki on all other platforms, including Twitch, where I will randomly play uh, random cozy games and uh, Mario Kart, where I yell at my friends for being so much better than me. But it's a good time. Uh, so come hang out there. Come follow me. And uh, other than that, you can see me. Um, here every other Monday on Nat One Fun every other Wednesday playing uh, Running Feywild, a D&D 5e campaign set in the Feywild and on every Saturday over on Total Party Kiss for a um, D&D 5e homebrew horror campaign with an all-queer table. It is brilliant. It is amazing. Uh, I love it so much because homebrew means we get to decolonialize the whole thing it is beautiful um but you can find my streaming schedule over on my twitter at the link in my bio so see you around y'all fantastic hopper well that's me uh regrettably i'm still me still hopper um and if you like bad content no i kid if you like good content you can follow me under the legend tree on most social media that's not facebook or uh on oh oh wait i'll put it in the i'll put it in the chat uh you can follow me uh, um for some dumb reason on twitch it's with underscores don't at me um, but do but, click at that do. Link. but but actually at me but actually do that and click 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 that link and follow I uh, do some of my own tabletop streams um, I run a couple things and I'm, we're currently doing a, whenever we can jam it in there a, a, a playthrough of Gloomhaven currently but uh, stay tuned for more info on new shit and then also um, hi Am I the second person to go? Is that... I don't like this. Third person. I don't know how time works. Time's not... Uh, uh, um, anyways, you should follow... Also check out um, our uh, our actual play of uh, Invisible Sun, Hole in the World. Um, it's super rad. And it's really cool. And we just got accepted into an awards thing. Um, Lead with that! I yeah. know, like and uh, your well, award sell, nominated baby, stream. Sell. Yeah, no, yeah. we uh, we we uh, we have been accepted into nominations for the uh, inaugural um, actual play class of the New Jersey Web Festival, and um, we're very excited about that. And that is also here on this channel, manupodstudios.com, Usually every other Sunday, though we are currently on hiatus, and Marcy will let you know more about that. Okay, let's make that happen. Marcy. Great segue. I'm not Thank good with time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I am Marcy and will hopefully continue to remain as such. Uh, you can find me most places around the internet under the username Experimental Madness, except for Twitter, uh, where I do remain uh, the resident cryptid. But technically, you can find me there under the username Marcy, whether or not I ever post anything or respond. Who knows? Um, but yes, like Hopper said, uh, I am mostly, uh, you can mostly find me right here on Manipod Studios uh, every other Monday doing this stream right here. Uh, I like to be in as many of our flights of fandom streams as humanly possible. Uh, those are every Tuesday. Uh, we'll be taking a brief break, however, this Tuesday, but we'll be back concluding one shot month uh, with a special reprise of our TVA folks. Uh, on the 26th with some new faces, David, uh, joining us. It'll be great. Um, surely there'll be some multiversal hijinks to be had. Uh, and then I'm very happy that I can announce this. Uh, we will be moving into August doing Star Trek. 
Um, and then continue to stay tuned because come September, the start of our fall lineup begins and we are kicking things off with Lord of the Rings every Tuesday in September. Uh, so lots of fun stuff till to, still to come for Flights of Fandom. Uh, and yeah, if you're still not, you know, if you're not completely sick of myself and Hopper, you can find us every other Sunday doing uh, The Hole in the World, our nominated stream. Thank you. <laughs> um, we are on hiatus. We'll be back. We'll be doing a quick one shot in the middle of August, um, just due to everybody's schedules. Welcome to summer. But then we'll be back for sure. Top of September. Uh, but if there's any changes to that, well, you can check out our Discord, our calendar and our YouTube channel. Do all of those things. Catch up on all of the episodes. And if you ever want to play with us, you should let us know. All right. Awesome. Well, thank all of you. Uh Y'all are amazing as always. Uh, thanks to everybody in chat, everybody viewing. And with that, we are going to call it for this evening. We will see you next time on Streets of Gotham. <laughs>